Welcome to Andy's Garage. I'm Andy Phillips. Today I'm going to show you how to clean a variable valve timing solenoid and oil control valve piece right here. These are in your vehicle and they help with the distribution of oil based on the timing. And these things can get clogged sometimes, especially if you don't frequently do your oil changes. There can get sludge, debris, and things that go in there that can hinder that from opening and closing properly and can result in performance issues with your vehicle um, from anything ranging from ticking and, and uh, pinging noises because of the lubricant not being properly distributed, and then even performance issues with uh, sluggish idle. Uh, you can have bad performance with the fuel economy of your car, and they can cause also some engine codes to go off as well. So when these things go, they can be problematic. A lot of times people want to go ahead and replace them, but sometimes it can be as easy as just cleaning them, which is how, what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. Let's go ahead and get started. The only thing that you're going to need to complete this is a can of this Mass Airflow Sensor Cleaner by CRC. This is what I recommend using. I know other people say different things, but what I like about this is it it's not very um, it's not very risky to use on something like like a solenoid or a sensor. So that's what we're going to use for this video. And you can pick this up anywhere from Walmart to automotive stores online, anywhere like that. This is a very easy product to find. We're going to start by removing the solenoid, so we're going to detach the electrical harness connection, pull that off, and then you'll find a bolt holding the solenoid in place, either on the valve cover or around that area on the front side in that vicinity. But go ahead and get the appropriate socket and ratchet, and go ahead and loosen that up so you can remove that bolt, so that way you're ready to slide the solenoid out of its place so you can clean it. This can be very hot if the car was just driven, so you may want to use either gloves or something so you don't get burned. We're going to go ahead and rotate that. You can see that. Let's see, here, here we go. Loosen it and then slowly pull it out. Give it a good, good tug. There we go. And you can see here. Let's go ahead and gently pull that out. And looking here at this solenoid, you can see it's very dirty. A lot of gunk and stuff caked up on there, so it definitely has to be cleaned off. As you can see here, we're going to go ahead and spray it down with this Mass Airflow Cleaner. Get all that cleaned up and nice and free-flowing. Make sure the inside moves good. Once you've properly cleaned it and made sure that you got any gunk and loose debris out of there, if you want to go ahead and test it, you can. And if you want to see how to do that, you can check out my video via the link above on all the steps to check one of these solenoids to make sure it's working properly. But once that's all been cleared and you're, you're you know, positive everything's moving smooth, then you're ready to just put it back into your vehicle. And you can just take it, just slide it in gently, work it in. There is a little little gasket ring right there so you have to give a little push and then at that point you can go ahead and bolt that back in connect the electric and you're ready to go all right well that pretty much wraps up this video on how to clean a variable valve timing solenoid and oil control valve I hope this video helped you out. I hope it was informative for you. 
please send me any questions, any comments. I would love to hear from you. And as always, I appreciate your support. So please like this video, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you next time.